hello guys welcome to my channel up so this is a new bin twist um braided wig that i'm working on i took it off the mannequin head so i can do the closure so i'm just going to show you guys how i'm going to um this is a four by four closure but what i'm going to do is i'm going to just pluck down the middle because i will be cutting the closure in two and then i'm going to use one half of the closure to attach to the wig okay so i've been trying that method because there's been a shortage shortage with closure and stuff and so it's hard to get it and this is a human hair closure so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna pull up the middle so normally i just um laid flat on the the mannequin head and then what i'm gonna do is like part down the middle make sure it's cut in like half and then I'm going to pluck down the middle with my tweezer. And then once I pluck that, um, DJ gets some mousse. I'm going to get my mousse at that. Then I pluck it. And then after I pluck the middle, I'm just going to use the one, cut the, use the scissors to cut it. I'm going to show you guys. And then I'm going to pluck, uh, so since this is going to be my closure, one half, then we're going to pluck do a, um, just the middle part on the, that one half that we're going to use. Let me just rough check to see if it's right down the middle. I think this side is a little bit bigger. Maybe the other thing. So I'm just going to part it a little bit more over here. Yeah. Okay, so let me get my mousse and then we're going to start with the plucking. Okay guys, so now we have our closure. We have it parted in the middle. So I'm just going to go ahead and pluck uh, so we can go ahead and make um, cut this closure in two. And remember, this is a four by four closure. So we'll be using half of this closure to attach to our, um, to our new Vin Twist wig which I showed you guys, I'm, I'm going to show you me, I'm attaching the closure to the, the wig. Um, so we have to cut it first. So first, before we cut, we're going to do the plucking process. I just wet it a little bit with some water. So I'm just going to add some mousse in the middle. And that's how you just cut my closures. When I'm doing parts or baby hair, I add um, mousse and then... I start plucking. I think my scent is a little bit too high, so let me just go ahead and adjust that a little bit, and then we're gonna start plucking. Okay, guys, so I'm just gonna start pluck plucking along the line where I made my part. So usually I start from the front. I hold my tweezer like this, so the pointier side is gonna to the front. You're gonna hold that to the front, and then just start plucking. And since we're just going to do a part, this is not necessarily going to be your part on the wig. It doesn't matter. You just want to make sure you pluck enough so you have enough space to cut and not cut the hair where it's going to um, shed. So you want to pluck a nice, um, clean um, line going back and make sure you pluck enough from there. Okay, so we're just going to... And this is my second um, one I'm doing like this. Usually I use the full 4x4 closure, but I've been experimenting with cutting the closure in half because it's hard to get the, um, I think it's called a 2x6, which is it's smaller, um, which I think would work better for braided wigs. Unless you want to have one a frontal look, I think the smaller ones work better, but it's hard to find the 2x6 closures that's in curly hair i realize they come mostly in straight hair and for me when i'm doing um um braided wigs for that natural look i think it's better to use if you're using the whole spring twist or nubian twist hair it's better to use um a hair that has a little curl to it because i realize when i'm using straight hair it's like it's a struggle to get the hair to blend in with the twist if you know what I mean, I keep have to cut in um, here to 
to give it i don't know because i'm when it comes to um making um those braided wigs i when it comes to natural hair i'm kind of a perfectionist so i like when it looks a certain way so if i see hair sticking out it bothers me so and sometimes i'm just spending too much time trying to get the hair to blend in so i prefer to use closures that like it has a little wave or curl to it it blends better in when i'm using those kinky textured hair right to twist it or anything so i'm like let me just try um getting a bigger closure but just cutting it in half and it works um it's working so far so so i'm just making back here a little bit bigger so when i do the part you guys see so far what we have okay so and it's the same when you're doing your part for a wig you're making the only thing uh you can decide how small you want your part so you could just pick a straight line and just pluck one line going down you could do two rows it, it's up to you and how you want your part but i will be doing that next so i will show you guys okay okay guys so now that we have um did our part i'm just going to go in with my scissors and try to cut it straight down the line Okay, guys, so I moved the hair back a little bit just to keep it contained. So I'm just going to pin and I try to get it in the center of the wig cap. And I'm just going to pull the closure down a little bit where I have like a, about an inch, half inch. So sometimes when you're when you're working it you pull the closure back a little bit so you want to make sure you have it down a little bit and then i'm just gonna pin the back here and here and make sure it's firm okay and then we're going to start sewing Okay guys, so I'm going to start with attaching this side of the closure and then I have my needle for the other side. So first I'm going to put, and it's the same process if you're doing a 4x4 four four closure or if it's, um, if you're cutting your closure in half, it's the same process. You start from one end and then before you get to the back, you start the other side just to make sure that it's not pulling, it's evenly sewn down. Just make sure that it's evenly sewn down. So. First, I put my needle in, then I'm going to just go here. And once I go in the second time, I'm going to put that through the side of the closure, as you can see. And I'm going to pull that through the loop. And that anchors my closure down. That makes sure the closure is firmly held down. And then I'm just going to start stitching going back. And it's the same process um, I use. So this one, I'm just going to do a double knot because I did knot the front. And I make sure it's secured with this knot. Then I just start looping it going back. And I not, do knots in between. Sorry about that. I'm just going to pull that, make sure it's nice and tight. And then... I'm going to start sewing to the side going back. So let me just sew that so that you guys can see what I'm doing. And then I'm just going to loop that through the needle. Sorry guys, it's kind of an awkward position for me, but I want to make sure that you guys are seeing. That's important, so... I'm just going to loop it through. And usually after my second or third loop, then I do a knot. So usually I do a knot here. 
This ear is so crazy, y'all. I got this on my head. Come in so handy. I get I got these from um Amazon, and I think I paid about five dollars and change. And I got like in this set, I got like ten, I think, which I think is. Over to this side. Let me move the part so I can get a nice clean arm and on this side. And for here, since this is the part without the ribbon on the closure, because remember we did cut it in half, you want to take time when you pull in the especially the front. Okay, so to stitch that down. So we're gonna put our thread through there, then we're gonna go through. And we're go, going to go through the closure, the front of the closure, right? Then we're going to pull that through as we did on the other side. So anchor it down. So that's where we get our anchor. And then we're going to go in again here. Do another stitch and we're going to do the double knot here just to make sure it's firmly stitched down. And then we're going to continue sewing. Okay guys, so now that I've attached the closure, I'm just going to take that off. And usually what I do, whether it's a 4x4 four four closure, a frontal, or you, you're going to cut your closure in half, you're going to go under it, and you're going to cut that mesh off from the wig. Okay, so along with the band. So we're just going to start cutting as close to the closure as possible. So see right there? We're going to start cutting that mesh off. So we're going to go under here. Make sure you're not cutting the closure now. So you're going to put the scissors under. Make sure that your closure, you're seeing the, the front of the closure, the extra piece of mesh as well. 
and then you start cutting as close to the line as possible where you stitch the closure down go all the way around the rim make sure you don't cut you don't want to cut where you have the thread right so see i went as close as possible but i did not cut the thread okay so i'm going to take that all the way around Okay guys, so now we're gonna pluck our part for the wig, because we've um, attached our closure down. And so now we're gonna um, go in and pluck our part. And usually how I pluck my part, I try to, um, I part it, put the most on, which I already did, to make it quicker. And so I'm just gonna find, um, just, um, and a lot where I want my part to be, I'm just gonna pluck along that um, part. So starting from here, this here right here, I'm gonna start plucking from here. And then I'm gonna go straight in that line. And usually I try to pluck in one straight line and then if I wanted to make it a little bit bigger, then I go back, but I go in one straight line first all the way back to where I wanna stop my part. And if I feel like it needs to be bigger, then I will go to the side where I want to take it wider. Okay, so I see I'm just going in that straight line. And then sometimes when you get to a certain part, it looks like there is extra here in your waist. So I'm gonna, just going to clear that space to make sure I stick with my straight line. This is where my line is, see that? So that's gonna be my next knot right there. Okay, so I'm just squaring that space to make sure I stick within that straight line. So you just wanna mark your knot and stick in that straight line where all the knots are behind each other and go all the way back. Then if you wanna make your part wider, you can go to the right or to the left, which I, either side you wanna take your part to make it wider.
Okay guys, so this is our finished look after we finish plucking the hair. And um, usually when I'm doing like curly or wavy, any other wig apart from natural hair wig, my, my parts are a little bit smaller. But for my natural hair wigs, I normally make my parts a little bit bigger, wider. So I just went a little bit, one more roll and clean that up nicely. So now we're going to continue with making our wig, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. If there's any questions or any video that you'd like for me to cover, please remember uh, to leave that in the comments section. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Thank you so much for watching.